I'm just saying. But yeah, start bench cut, peak for peak, Paul Pierce, David Robinson, and Charles Barkley are scorers. Any, anyone want to go first? Uh, I'm starting David Robinson. Um, oh. I'm starting David Robinson, peak for peak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bench Charles Barkley. I'm cutting Paul Pierce. Oh, yeah. Flip that around for me. I, and I know that 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 that. So start Barkley. David Robinson and then bench Paul Pierce and cut Charles Barkley. No, I'm starting Paulie. Yeah, okay. we're, going, <laughs> we're going peak for peak. Paul Pierce starts, bro. <laughs> Paul okay. Pierce starts for me. Um, and I know David Robinson was an incredible store scorer. He had he had especially had some incredible high scoring games. Um led the league in scoring. Yeah, you know. So that's that's pretty tough for me. Um David Robinson and Charles Barkley. And mind you, I didn't I didn't like see firsthand. I had to go back and see young Charles Barkley um in the way he was scoring. But I think I want to bench Charles though. Mm -hmm. And David Robinson being a scoring leader is crazy though. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna still bench Charles. Just that that open court, you know, fast. Charles Charles in transition is, is crazy. I mean, David Robinson ran the court like a gazelle too. So <laughs> I'm not taking that away. This is a hard start bench cut. All I know is I'm starting Paul Pierce. All right. There you go. Okay. <laughs> it's such an interesting one because you have like a wing perimeter score be compared to interior scores more, and it's like I feel like the versatility of uh Paul Pierce would kind of elevate them over them in terms of scores, but they just have a, like a, you know, more story body work. I mean, <laughs> Charles Barkley was just an interior problem. Um, I think for me, I think for me, based off of the variety, I think I would probably lean Paul Pierce, but it's hard to cut either one of Charles Barkley or D Rob. That's just hard right. for me. Um, oh my God. That's very tough. The thing is D Rob, and then, I, when I think about David Robinson, I think yeah. about him just basically being ahead of his time as a five man. I mean, he had a money mid range game, right? He wasn't throwing the ball between his legs. Sure, he wasn't doing that, but he was a really good. He was really a, he was a really good pick and pop guy, especially at the elbow and at the mid post. He had a he had a he had a right even with the weak hand. He had a right and a left hook, left jump hook. Um, he was incredible in transition. Uh, and he can knock down free throws. We we I don't think we talk enough about scoring guys who get to the strike because getting to the strike matters. Getting to yeah, the strike matters. It does. And at the strike matters. And David Robinson could make free throws even even when they met, not just when they matter, but he was a really good free throw shooter. So when I think about David Robinson as a bucket getter, man, overall, it's, it's hard for me to take him off the table. Very. Difficult. I mean, but do you think he's better than Charles Barkley as a pure scorer? I do feel like he's better than Barkley because I feel like even though Barkley was a better ball handler, but David Robinson was good in transition too. I seen David Robinson pick guys in the open floor and and lead the break and and, and dunk the basketball like Barkley did as a freight train guy. I seen him face guys up 15 feet away from the basket and not need to do a lot of extracurricular stuff. They made that rule. They actually made that rule, and I'm going to have to change it too because I got to go with Paul Pierce because they made that rule – that Barkley's pounding the basketball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> no, get off the ball, yo. What are you doing? Get off the ball. Paul could Paul could probably score in, a, in 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 more of a variety of ways. But David Robinson, he'll face you up 15 feet, knock that mid range down in your face. He'll face you up on a block 10 feet away from the basket, six feet away from the basket, and hit you with that bank shot. He'll do all of that sort of stuff. So when I think about when I think about David Robinson as an overall scorer and Charles as an overall scorer. I got to go with David Robinson. Mm. Okay. So then I guess the most important question, I guess, outside of what we already said, how much does like down the stretch scoring matter to you yeah. in this conversation? Yeah. It, it matters a lot. Matters. Yeah. It definitely I think does. Paul Pierce was super clutch too. Yeah. Paul, I mean, Barkley's, yeah. Barkley's, got, Barkley's got moments. Barkley's hit buzzer beaters, not just in the regular season, in the playoffs. In fact, he did that against Dave Robinson in 93 in the Western Conference semifinals in game five, iced the game. On a, mm -hmm. uh, on a 17 footer. So, mm -hmm. you know, Barkley didn't have a variety of moves. It wasn't like Barkley was, you know, giving you in and outs and and going down the gut and throwing it on guys on the regular. When we get into the half court, you know, Barkley played primarily on the box. Mm -hmm. And a lot of his yeah. stuff also came off the offensive glass. Barkley was an exceptional offensive rebounder. So, yeah. When I think about David Robinson one on one, I think David Robinson one on one, I feel like he was a better one on one player than Charles Barkley. 
Who I don't know if you already said this. If you did, I missed it. Chill. Who was better in transition, Charles or David? <sighs> Charles. Yeah, that's that's you know, that's, David, what, that's what the edge was. We, 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 we talking about with the ball. We talking about with the ball. Yeah, yeah. Charles, yeah. Charles, Charles, Charles would get it off the glass, and he was going. Well, either way, either way, running the floor, catching the ball. It, yeah, because I mean, even if you catch the ball right inside the uh, three point line, have to take a dribble and go dunk it right. and finish. You know, I still that's still transition scoring. So I'm not technically, I'm not necessarily just talking about with the ball. I'm talking about just in open. Oh, okay. At all. Well, if, if we're talking about without the basketball, just running the floor, David Robinson, I would have to go with David Robinson. But with the ball, Charles was a freight train. Um, yeah. I think David Robinson was a better finisher in transition without the basketball, like when he's getting guys getting getting them the basketball. Um, that's that that's close, man. It's it's, it's not as far as people yeah, think. Close. I think that David Robinson, I'll give David Robinson the edge in transition without the basketball. I'll give the, I'll give Charles the edge with the ball, but overall, I'm giving it to David Robinson. Mm -hmm.